The first one is of a crab in a crown. And here's a crocodile in a cracker. <laughs> and this one is a crazy crow with a crazy hat on it too. And the last one I'm going to draw is going to be a completely crazy, creepy, crawly creature. I can give it two big, crunchy feet. There, a completely crazy, creepy, crawly creature. Crumble. Crust. What else can you see that starts with the same sound? Potatoes grow in the ground, on farms and in people's gardens. They are dug up when they are ready to eat. They can be cooked and made into chips. Mashed potato! You can boil potatoes, you can roast them in the oven, and you can cook them with their skins on. But best of all, you can make fists out of potatoes. We have a crisp factory near our school, we call it the Crispy. We have special permission to go inside and see how they make crisps. This is where potatoes are kept before washing and peeling. Then the potatoes go along this conveyor belt. They are washed and peeled and sliced into crisp shapes. This is what the potato looks like when it is ready to be fried. It is still all wet from washing. This is the computer that works the frying. You can't see the fryers because they are very hot and dangerous. There is a special machine that gets rid of the crisps that are too brown. After the crisps are fried, they go along this conveyor belt to be flavoured. This is salt and vinegar flavour! This machine weighs out how much should go into each packet. So they're all exactly the same. Finally, the crisps are packed in two boxes. Some are packed by hand. And this is a finished package of crisps. I like salt and vinegar best. I like popcorn cocktail best. I like playing crisp best. My favourite flavour is smoky bacon flavour. The animals in today's story liked eating crisps, but their favourite food was cheese. And the story's called Cressida Crow and the Crafty Fox. <laughs> 
There was once a crow called Cressida. Cressida had beautiful feathers and she looked after them very carefully. Cressida could also sing superbly and she'd often sing for the other birds who'd gather round and listen. In fact, Cressida loved to entertain and she would use any opportunity she could to show off her voice. <coughs> Cressida was also quite an unusual crow. She didn't like juicy worms or tasty insects like other crows. Oh no. Cressida liked crisps and chocolate and biscuits and cheese. Cheese was her favourite. If Cressida found a piece of cheese, it made her day. But she was also quite a selfish crow. And she wouldn't give the cheese to anyone. She would keep it all for herself. One day, Cressida found a particularly tasty piece of cheese and she couldn't believe her luck. But someone else had also seen the cheese. A crafty fox. The fox decided to trick Cressida and to have the cheese all for himself. First of all, he tried to bring Cressida down from the tree so that he could steal the cheese. Cressida, Cressida, what beautiful feathers you have. Won't you come down so I can see them <laughs> more clearly? <laughs> but Cressida, wasn't keen on showing off her feathers to the fox, so she stayed where she was with the cheese firmly in her beak. The fox was annoyed, but he didn't give up. He wanted that cheese. Chrissy da, Chrissy da, what a clever crow you are. Why don't you uh, come down? We could have a little chat. <laughs> we could even crack a few jokes together. Mm. But Cressida wasn't keen on jokes. So she stayed where she was with the cheese firmly in her beak. By now, the fox was getting very annoyed. He realised that if Cressida would just open her beak a little, then the cheese would drop out and he could have it all for himself. Then he had a crafty idea. Chrissy da, Chrissy da, what a beautiful voice you have. Won't you um, sing for me? Oh, please, dear, sweet, beautiful, wonderful Chrissy da, sing. Now, as you know, Cressida did think her voice was rather fine and she was very pleased that the fox thought so too. So without thinking, she opened her beak to sing. The fox caught the cheese and swallowed it in one gulp. <laughs> Thanks, Cressida. Don't bother about the song. The joke's on you. <laughs> Poor Cressida. She realised she'd been tricked by the fox. What a silly creature she'd been to believe all the nice things he'd said. And from that day to this, whenever the crow opens its beak to sing, what comes out isn't a nice sound. Nope. It's a croaking, creaking, cawing. So Cressida the crow will always remember the day that she was tricked by the crafty fox. Crocodile. <laughs> Crying crocodile. <laughs> Crow. <laughs> <laughs> Crisps. <laughs> the crocodile and the crow are eating crisps. <laughs> 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 
And crunchy crisps. The crow and the crocodile are crunching crisps. Crow, crocodile. Crow, crocodile. Both these words start with the same letters. Watch how Magic Pencil writes them. Round and round. Top to bottom, up and around. Round and round. Top to bottom, up and around. Round and round. Top to bottom, up and around. <laughs> In a crocodile creek live creatures with fierce and frightening claws. But beware of a crafty crocodile if it opens its great big jaws. Creepy, creaky creatures hiding everywhere. Better watch out for a crocodile. If you see one, do take care. In a crocodile creek, it's creepy. And you'll never know what you'll see. But I'm not scared of a crocodile. I'm sure it won't catch me. Creepy, creaky creatures hiding everywhere. <laughs> Better watch out for a crocodile. If you see one, do take care. Creepy, creaky creatures hiding everywhere. Better watch out for a crocodile. If you see one, do take care. <gasps> a crocodile. I'd better creep out of here. Bye.